Hi, Josh Apple here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at our top deck at Virginia Golf Center and I'm going to talk about how to hit draws and fades. The obvious starting point would be your setup. So in terms of your setup, if you'd like to hit a draw, you need to set up slightly close to the target. And the easiest way to do that is to use what I call the steering wheel, which is through your arms. So just like driving a car, if you were to orient your arms this way, that's the setup for a draw. That would be close to the target. So when I take this golf club, with the steering wheel that is closed or aimed right, it would look like my right elbow is tucked in lower than my left arm for a right-handed golfer. So from that standpoint, my shoulders and arms are close to the target or aimed right. Now if you wanted to hit a fade, it would be the opposite. You would see my right arm out in front of my left arm like this, so now my left arm is closer to my body, and now my arms and shoulders are open, and of course you need to aim accordingly, aim left or right. So that is the easiest way to do it in your setup through the steering wheel, but then it all comes down to the golf swing. If you do something incorrect in your golf swing, it could throw off what you've done in your setup. The most important part of hitting a draw or fade is your path. So in your downswing, when you get to this point where the club is parallel to the ground, right now I have a perfectly straight path. So if I were to swing through, I would pad it straight and hit it straight. Now if you wanted to hit a draw, the club head would need to be inside your hands at this point in the golf swing. In that case, you would pad it out to the right and produce a draw. Then the opposite, if you had the club head outside your hands at this point in the downswing, then you would pad it left and see the fade. A lot of people struggle with hitting the ball too far right, like a slice, because they tend to come over the top and have the club head outside their hands at this point. So if you wanted to fix that, you would want to feel like the club's coming more from the inside, and thus the club head inside your hands, swing more out to the right to get that draw. I'm Josh Apple, that's your tip of the day.